start this off. Oh yeah, we were looking at these guys. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? I am so confused. What am I supposed to be? What? I'm actually confused. What am I supposed to be doing here? Hmm. Observe hmm, hmm, hmm. everybody. How do I observe them if you're not like me? Observe them. Hmm? New thumbnails. What? Apparently it did something good. So confused, did I like break something or something? Why can't I observe them? Oh, now it does it. Okay, that was really weird. Donald is always on hedge. Donald Fraser is very nervous at the moment, even if he is trying hard to control himself. Hmm. There we go. She appears to have taken more care with her appearance than the last time. Yeah, she's trying to get Donald over here to pay attention to her 100%. Oh wait, there's three, whoops. She's looking at Mr. Fraser out of the corner of her eye. Did she make herself beautiful for him? Very possibly. Okay, all are done. Have a look at these two. Sometimes I love a brunette, sometimes I love a blonde. That's what the song says. Okay, then sometimes okay. I... That's it? Okay. The song says, Sometimes I love a blonde who comes from Eden by way of Sweden. But I am not sure that this blonde is an angel. Hmm. Okay. Talk to them now. I already observed them. These things are slow to come in. That's from before. Okay, but do I talk to them now? Like, it says observe everybody, and they did that. Or do I have to observe Mr. Uh, Hastings as well? Oh, these two guys. Are I hope to concentrate on my guests. And why is he... Franklin okay, Clark right. always seems at his, regardless of where he is. Something that's unique to people who travel. Uh, is that better? I wish to thank you all for coming. I wanted to bring everyone close to the victims here in order to unmask the murderer. Get to the point, Mr. Poirot. What do you want from us? Megan, dear girl, please be patient. Mr. Proro, how dare you address me by my first name? Please excuse me, mademoiselle. Who cares? What I ask is that you search your memories. The murderer must have left some trace. Yes, he must have prepared his crimes very carefully. 
Tout à fait. He did not get to Bexhill at midnight in order to strangle a young girl whose name by chance starts with B. Must we go into that? No, of course. Not if it makes you uncomfortable. Come on, Mr. Poirot. I imagine we all feel terribly uncomfortable about these murders. It's true. We've to catch the killer, not be spared the gory details. Mr. Fraser, please get a grip on yourself. Yeah, I def well, yes. I want to help you, but I don't remember anything else. Nothing I haven't already said. And you, Mademoiselle Barnard, did your sister say she was seeing another man? She never would have told me. Like, I don't know if I Hello. Surely sisters have no secrets. She never spoke about any of that to me. Do you believe me or do I have to repeat myself? Betty knew I didn't approve of her behavior. Her flirting was spoiling any chance she might have had. Tell me, mademoiselle, what did you talk about with your sister? Silly things. Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother bought her a brand new pair. The day it happened. Yes, again, we already heard about Your sister that. used okay. to sing, I believe. Did she ever perform in public? Well, she dreamt about it, but she had a very bad cough. It troubled her greatly. She had to cancel auditions and miss lots of opportunities. A pity. Yes, she sang well, but that doesn't tell us much about the murderer. Qui sait? In any case, we now have enough information to draw up a relatively precise psychological profile. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. that chick <clears throat> he's overconfident So, ladies and gentlemen, we can now surmise without too much risk of error that our adversary is calculative, sure of himself, a seducer of outstanding intelligence, that he has plenty of self-control and that he likes railways. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> Other oh meetings God, may be Sheldon necessary. Cooper. I hope that you will be able to come oh back again. God. I'm sorry. Well, it's just that... Is something bothering you, Mary? Well, Mr. Poirot, you see, I don't know if I can come to London just like that. It's normal that people helping with this inquiry should be reimbursed. Starting with you, Miss Drower, please allow me to pay for your train tickets. Oh, sir, I cannot accept. But you must. Mademoiselle, I may not be rich, but my brother left a fortune which will be mine. Mr. Clark, that's very generous of you. Well, someone has to foot the bill. Mr. Poirot, would it be possible for you to come back to Devon? Lady Clark has expressed a wish to see you. We'll adjust her medicine so she'll not be too drowsy. But of course, I shall come the day after tomorrow if it is convenient. Thank you all for coming. We will meet again soon. How was it? Okay. I thought more was the meeting happen. was most fruitful. We're going to accuse someone. Really? Hastings, I believe now we have everything we need to find a common point between the victims. Now it is time for us to use our grey matter. They all had medicine of some sort. That's that's the, the common thing. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. 
They were all sick in some way. Yeah, but he's a famous retired doctor. What does that have to do with throat infection? The first two victims suffered from bad throat. And that was precisely the speciality of the third victim, Dr. Clark. We have a lead. It would pay to take a closer look at the medical records of Dr. Clark's patients. We'll do so during our next visit to Justin. I will do it myself, mon ami. You must remain in London just in case ABC sends us another letter. Very well, as you wish. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Mr. Poirot. Lady Clark is waiting for you in her bedroom on the first floor. Please excuse me, I cannot stay for the interview. I have to take Miss Gray to the station to see our lawyer in Torquay. Are you leaving Cheston for good? Miss Gray very kindly stayed with me to settle my brother's affairs. But naturally, she prefers to find a position in London. Ah, très bien. I'll be absent all morning, Mr. Poirot, but the nurse is coming soon. She's to ensure that the dose of medicine doesn't make our patient drowsy. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Have a nice trip, mademoiselle. It is now the right time. Is this the right place or do I It's closed. Really? But this is the first floor. Do they mean like the this is the ground floor technically? Yeah, they didn't mean that. I thought she was fucking dead. Holy shit. It's got the jitters. This poor woman is very ill. Looks like she's having a fucking seizure. Um, I don't know what else you want me to look at. Another cough medicine. Dude, she looks like she's this her. woman is suffering. She is in no state to have a conversation. Apparently, she wants to talk to us, so. Mr. Poirot? My respects, madame. Thank you for coming. Thank you. The telephone in the hall is ringing. Telephone in the hall is ringing? Okay, let's go get the telephone in the hall. There's something on the ground there that I just saw as well. I think that, that might be important when we get back. The telephone is ringing. Yeah, I know it's ringing. Okay, give me a sec here. The Clark residence. Detective Hercule Poirot speaking. How do you do, Mr. Poirot? I'm Lady Clark's nurse. I wanted to let you know that I won't be able to come for her injection today. Might Miss Gray be able to do it? She has just left, but I will take care of it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, you'll find the skeleton key to open the medicine cabinet hidden in the lion trophy. You can count on me. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Oh, thank you kindly. Goodbye, Mr. Poirot. I'm an inspector. I'm not like a nurse or a doctor. I can't just give people injections. Oh, God damn it, guys. Guessing that this is a lion head. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a skeleton key. What else am I looking for? Eyes? What, what am I looking for? No, it says I'm missing something, but I don't see anything and I'm supposed to be looking. April. Oh, apparently I'm just looking at that, okay. It is not the right. That's not the skeleton key thingy. Is this the skeleton key thingy? No, it's me looking in the goddamn mirror. God damn it, guys. Is this the right place? Lady Clark. Nope. Yeah, what was on the ground, though? I really checked it out. I just saw it as I was leaving. What is this? Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an in. Yeah, but there's something on the ground, my dude. 
Uh, oh, I see right over here. This yeah, woman yeah. is suffering. She is in no state yeah, to have yeah, a conversation. Yeah. I'm trying to get the, the morphine, my friend. Can you go over here? Thank you. It's closed. Yes, and that's why we have the skeleton key. And I Lady Clark is in pain. I have to give her an injection. Yeah, can I use the key though? Like, what's going on? Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, Mr. Poirot. Oh, I feel better now. Thank you for your help. No problem. You asked for me, chère madame? Yes. Yes, of course, I wish to speak with you. But what was it about? No doubt. You wish to talk to me about what happened to your husband? Ah, yes. Oh, poor Carmichael. Has the madman who killed him been caught? Not yet, chère madame. There was a great many people in Chester on the day of the murder. Indeed. People go straight to the beach. They don't come near Coombe's side. So, there were no strangers around the house that day? Who said that? The people who live here. Your brother-in-law, Miss Gray. Miss Gray? Oh, I don't like her. Franklin wanted her to stay, but I insisted she should go. Immediately. You are entitled to do so, naturally. I'm pleased that you approve. The others have been taken in by her. But at least you can see through that self-pity act. See what she's up to. Oh. Did you just pass out on me? Okay. She passed out. This object would probably be useful to me. What is that object? Oh, browns come. Okay. Are we gonna get a golden browns and a silver one? This right subject here? would pop. Yep. Anything over this way? I can't do anything over that way. Anything over here? What? Is that what I think it is right there? This subject would probably be useful to me. Of course, it's a golden cone too. Why are there different colors of cones? Oh. This couple appears to be having fun. <clears throat> Lady Clark and Sir Carmichael were very happy, but they did not have any children. Dun dun dun. Can I grab something? The mechanism appears to be The mechanism appears to be broken, eh? Uh, no, I want to turn it around. Oh, I can open it. Okay. Can I, like, use this? This spring appears to be broken. Firstly, I have to take it apart. Uh, how do I take this apart? Go back. Yeah. Wait. I have another spring. Haha. <laughs> another spring magically appeared. Now they won't let you do that. Okay. I hope that Hastings will not be. Cr Does that mean it works? This part appears to be working. This is where the comms go. Okay, that's where the comms go. We'll see three, two, one, or one, two, three. This part appears to be work. I uh, guess we'll find out when we try to use it, right?
Lady Clark and Sir Carmichael were very happy, but they did they not have any children. I thought I could do something with that. I think that's a radio, right? <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> Is she back up? Oh, what are we talking about? Ah, yes. Uh, uh, Thora Gray. Nothing but a hypocrite. Oh, Carmichael had great esteem for her. But for me, she was nothing but a hypocrite. You're probably right, madame. You have seen through her. I'm so pleased that I've convinced you. Is she falling asleep again? You are very harsh. Do not forget that the girl is an orphan. Yes. And she used the fact to get around men. Take Franklin. He's fallen for her sweet talking charms. Oh, he's a lovely boy, very plucky and sure of himself. But so naive. Oh, when it comes to <laughs> <Come> women. <laughs> Something like a moan more than anything. Um... Miss Gray did look after you very well, though. Outwardly. But she's hiding something. I think she tried to poison me. Okay, that's not good. Miss Gray? A poisoner? But everybody appears to like her. It proves she knows what she's doing. She's manipulative and she's a liar. A liar? Let's see, didn't she say that on the day of the crime nobody was around Coombside? That is correct. Well, at eleven o'clock, I saw her talking to someone. Really? And what was this man like? An ordinary sort of man with a very plain face. Oh, I don't remember well. Was he a gentleman? No, he was not, not a gentleman. It would be best to leave her to sleep now. Not a gentleman. The telephone in the hall is a gentlewoman. Answer the telephone again. Yo, it keeps calling her. The nurse already called. Is the nurse calling again? What's going on? Hello. Poirot, is that you? Hastings here. Thank you for calling. Have you received a new letter from the murderer? No, thank goodness. How are things in Churston? I question Lady Clark, but I will not leave until I have examined everything of interest to me here. Fortunately, Franklin is absent, and I have a skeleton key. Have you seen Thora Gray again? Briefly. But rest assured, I intend to summon her to London soon. She's a fascinating girl. But secretive. I would like to ask her a few questions. Poirot, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Each to his own, my friend. <laughs> this guy is Yours are pretty often mine old ladies that have the maladies. Poirot, are you mocking me? No ill intended, rest assured. A bientôt, mon ami. A bientôt, mon ami. Mon ami. Inspect the mansion. All right, let's go into here now, finally. Yo, what is this? Okay. What is that? This plate appears to be able to move, but something is blocking it. This plate appears to be able to... Okay, what is this here? I must need something to continue. I must need something to continue. I can restart it. Um, I think it's still going. Do I need something that I don't have, or? Franklin appears to be very active. Yeah, you know the the bear head. You know the uh, you know that's an antelope. 
I could be wrong. Franklin Clark appears to be a typical British gentleman, a good sportsman, a hunter, a traveller. Another puzzle? God damn, how many puzzles are you guys gonna make me do? Okay, let's see. Mm. It's only a hit. A Chinese symbol is engraved on the. They unscrew it. It's just like. Making... This character appears to be the wrong. Wrong way around. I should continue to study this. I should continue to study this card. Good. Uh, words. What am I looking for? Well, well. The characters engraved on this padlock resemble those engraved on the metal discs. On the metal disc. No, it's not the height code. I don't know which order to put them in. Is it like this, or is it like this, or is it like this? That's it. This character appears to be the height way around. Okay. So basically. That's it. This. That's it. This. Okay. That's it. This character appears to be the height way round. Okay, let me take note note of these because I completely did not take note of these, and I'm. <laughs> Here goes my pen top. Holy fuck! Yeah, <laughs> whoops. Uh, okay. Is there a different order that we could put this in? Because this is definitely going to be this JJ thing. Uh, this is going to be the this thing. We got this thing. And we got this thing. No, it's not the height code. Let's check the Chinese characters again. Oh, I'm an idiot. What was that noise? I don't know what that noise was, but okay. So it's going to be... This middle, uh, this thing with the freaking peas on both sides, and I got whatever the hell is up there, which is gonna be, yeah, arrow arrowhead going upwards. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, so this is gonna be the arrowhead going upwards. This is gonna be the peas. It's gonna be TJ or JJ, IT. Okay, where am I? At I last, the cupboard is open. Is that a gun? A mat, flask, and rifles. Franklin is very well equipped. Why are there some books over here? The railway children. Poor Franklin. Owned half his Christmas, 1910. Hmm. Traveling in China, a practical guide for English travelers. Okay, and the last book. Genteel and wild, English countryside revisited. Bow, 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 bow. What does this do? Do I need something for this? Okay, like, do I need to try all of them until it works? What is that noise? Why does it keep doing that? That's really annoying. I must need something to continue. Yeah. What do you need to continue? Like, is there something that's a part of this thing that I don't see? Alaska. Alaska. I don't know why it lets me click here, but I can't do anything or anything. Australia. Australia, Alaska. The new Siberia. Okay. 
Okay, what does that do for me, though? This plate appears to be a... This plate appears... Something's blocking it. This plate Something appears... Is blocking it. This plate appears... Something is blocking it. This plate appears... Am I missing something here? Like, what am I missing? I am very confused. I am very confused. Okay, so I just moved that this one. This plate appears... Somehow, I just moved that one. This plate appears to be able... This plate appears... This plate appears to... This plate appears... Brazil. Yes, Brazil. Okay, nice, 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 nice. This plate appears to be able to move, but something is blocking. This plate okay, appears to be able to move, but something is blocking it. This plate appears, etc., etc., etc. Do I have to click some of these? Like a specific this plate order? appears. Like what's going on? This plate appears yeah, to be. I've three of them. I don't know what's going on at all. This plate appears. This plate appears to be. This plate appears. This plate appears. This plate appears. Does that do anything? This one's like darker. I'll this know. plate yeah, appears to be a. This plate appears. Turn three of them. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually confused as hell right now. This key doesn't work there, so I don't know what the hell is supposed to go there. And I can't go back for some reason. It's like not letting me. There you go. I think my mouse is like screwed or something. I don't know what happened. Okay, let me try re going back into it. Like, I'm pretty sure that I'm not supposed to be able to see my mouse right now. I can't go into the menu at all or whatever. Oh, I just clicked home. I just screwed up something. Oh god, I opened up some. I did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, give me a moment. I kind of like screwed up everything. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Am I like missing something huge? And it's like, am I being stupid or something? Oh, what's this up here? No, it's just the light. Okay. Maybe I need to get some somewhere else first. I am so confused. Yes, this thing. Comsides okay, private. Yeah, yeah. The catalog. Yeah. So look over here. The door is. Yeah, I got it. I got a skeleton key. Uh -huh. This unit contains the medical records for Sir Carmichael Clark's patients. No dust on the records from A to D. They've been. No known names. No dust on the record. No. Lots of dust. No known name. Somebody took some files out, it looks like, is what I'm hearing. Sir Carmichael's collection? Sir Carmichael. I see some papers that were not there the first time I visited. Uh oh, that's not good. I guess that's the one that I. Valuers be... report. Court and Brunskill. The name is familiar. Is that not the name of the firm Donald Fraser works for? Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. These daggers are only. Do I have to relook at all this? Really? Okay, whatever. Ernest Logan. Lady Clark, your. I estimate that yeah, lady. Yeah. There you go. So we saw that. That's that's. So that's not good. Order and method above all. Let us finish examining the mansion while no one is around.
Attention, Franklin. Task list. A. Ordering Lady Clark remedies. Done. B. Tidying up real estate property files. Done. C. Calling the lawyer about inventory. Done. D. Update the tenant farmer list. Done. E. Update land rent accounting. Done. F. Ordering a restock of arsenic. Done. P.S. I have left on the living room table some of my things I don't want to keep. The locket and the dagger. I am sure you know why. Thora. That's very suspicious. I've already seen similar daggers. A dark dragon for a bright haired maid. See. Oh, uh, that's from the dude. And she took it off. Well, that's kind of rude. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I can get something to use for that. Compass, point to the thals. Bronze and Magnetite, Han Dynasty, circa 210 BC, purchased in Hong Kong 1935. Okay. That doesn't help me with the puzzle, though. There are some very valuable objects here. What is this thing, yeah? Traditional Chinese map. Traditional Chinese map. Facsimile. South is on the top of the map. Okay. Yeah, am I, where am I missing something? I, oh my god, I'm so lost. Where am I, oh, maybe this, maybe there's something here. How am I going to... Size at the same time, maybe that does not appear to be very okay. So, there's numbers that I need to know. Apparently, how do we find out said numbers though? Is there anything on here for numbers? Numbers 1927. I see this 1927. Oh, that's why you left it. Okay, I see. Whoops, I did not mean to put the key. No, no, I don't want to look at this. This skeleton key. key would be yes, very I know. Shush. Girl, calm down, motherfucker. There we go. Ah, uh, shit, I already forgot it. 1927? Yeah. Okay, so let's try one, two, one, two, 19, sorry. God damn, dude. 1927. Seven, two. Aha! So Leaving the code on the trunk. What a strange character Franklin is. How can I see what? What is this? Apparently I can move those around. Don't know exactly what these... What is this? 31. What? I don't know how this thing works, but okay. Apparently I can pull it down and then... Okay, there we go. 7... This is seven. Don't see a number there. Thirty-one. Seven thirty-one. Oh wait, is it because there's like? Oh, what the frick, two? Huh? Okay, wait. So that's at seven. Am I, am I supposed to look for a number over here then? 720. Let's try 720. Uh, this is 20, right? 
So, what is this? Aha, aha, aha. Yeah, what is the sound? I should be able to open the trap. Should be able to open the trap now. There we are. How do I open? Okay, there we go. More puzzle parts. What is this now? I can just, I can just, I can just pull this out, right? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, damn. Whiskey, another good. Whiskey, another good. Oh my god. Good there. Nothing good there. And last but not least. Hello. Why has Franklin put an Allen key inside his trunk? I'll borrow it for a minute. Is that what I need for that other thing? Or no, is this what I need for this? Uh, this. How do I choose which one to use, though? An Allen key. I need to use this position though. How do I change the position? Aha. Another screw. Yeah. Okay, and this one. Same one. Let's get this. Why are there so many screws in this thing? Damn. This engraving is not very easy to understand. I need to sort it out. Can we not do this? Oh my god. Uh, it is blocked. It is blocked. Gotcha. Uh, oh, I see. Wait. So I can move this one by itself, or I can move both of these. Move this one is going to move both of those. I don't like annoying puzzles like this. I'm going to say it right out. That goes with that. There we go. Is it something stupid like it's upside down or some shit? Okay, let me just move everything so that it's not upside down. Oh, it's the middle. It piece. is blocked. Oh, I need to make it so that it's the middle. Of the okay, I'm stupid as fuck. Oh my god. There we go. And then I can move this one like this, and then this one like that. Franklin must really love his country to have an engraving in his trunk. I think I heard the panel above release. Hey, we're getting there. Which panel released? Where did the panel release? What are you talking about? Panel on top of where? Wait, where? Huh? Oh, I see. A signet ring? Signet ring? A signet ring with a code written on it. 1587. It may be useful to me. 1587. 1587. Oh, that's it? That's what we were looking for? God damn it. Okay. One, five, eight, seven. I don't know where that could be useful. But is this is this where I needed the wrench for? Or the uh...
Can you put the ring there? Oh. The plates around the picture yeah. appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. Franklin's trophies. It's trophies. I didn't see any trophies anywhere. Let's see me. Franklin Clark appears yeah, to be a typical British gentleman. Yeah. A good sportsman, a hunter, a traveler. Oh, come on. Where is this trophies? Trophies, 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 trophies. Nope, these are not his trophies. Let me see if I can find these. Ah, uh, yeah, you said trophies. These are trophies? Question mark. These are, is this what you mean by trophies? Oh, is this what he means? Nope, definitely not. Can I see things that I've already seen before? I cannot. Okay. What trophies are you talking about then? Dude. They have some yeah, so where's the trophies though? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill somebody. Here trophies question mark. I am so freaking confused right now. This is super fucking sad. Where are these trophies that they're fucking talking about? Oh my god, I hate life. Sir, Sir Cam Michael's collect. Where are the trophies? Black Dragon Sky to Franklin will Miss Thoragray Comside Justin Devon Arsenic Trioxide Thallium Dun 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 Anyways, where are these trophies that they keep fucking talking about? Best to leave. Okay, but where are the trophies? Dude, I don't know what the fuck. Mm. Where are the trophies you are talking about, my good friend? Whoa. Come on, Poirot, give me, give me a hint here. Doesn't have any trophies anywhere, what do you mean? Fucking lost as hell. Might actually have to look this fucking shit up. Is the trophies in here, maybe? I've finished with this subject. Okay, but what are the tro- I mean, Am I gonna have to fucking guess this shit now? Uh, that's nothing. Either I'm completely freaking blind or this is gonna take forever. Alright, screw it. Alright, screw it, give me a moment. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, get you, you screw off.
All right, let me have a look here. The plates around the picture mm. appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. Yeah, I, I saw no idea what the fuck this guy's talking about. I never saw the Franklin's trophies. Uh, let me turn this one. Go up here. You're good. You down here need to be turned. The African Kudu. The African Kudu. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. Hey, I got something. What does that do? That does nothing. Okay. That officially does nothing. Okay. Here, it is. The Lion of Sumatra. I don't know what these are doing. Okay, uh, this is a weird puzzle, but okay. This one. Yes, FYI. Oh, I just realized what the fuck this means. Oh, the Alaskan Kodiak Bear. Yeah, it's the animals. It's the. Oh my God. I heard the sound of a mechanism. I hate you guys so much. Strange way of protecting one's safe. Triangulating one's hunting sites on the oh, map. One, five, eight, seven, but which ones is which? One, five, eight, seven. Hey, there we go. These documents are very likely going to help me for the rest of the inquiry. Uh, which documents are you talking about? A dozen Money. gold sovereigns, some shares for the Southern Railway and some treasury bills. This is not worth much, hardly enough to justify your robbery. Etton College School Year, 1912-1913. Franklin Clark. School report for Franklin Clark. According to his teachers, Franklin was a good student, but lacked discipline. It's not good. A dozen gold sovereigns. Some share. Charlotte Clark Comside, Churston, Devon. To Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury Road, Chim Shatsui, Kowloon, mm. Hong Kong, Comside, 1935, January 1st. I wish you with all my heart a happy year 1935. Writing my greeting cards, I have affectionate thoughts for you. Always smiling as a child. Sailing to distant countries and bringing back to us trunks full of wonder. At home, everything annoys me. Starting with this young Thora Sir Carmichael is so fond of. I have nobody to share my feelings with. So I write to you. How can I tell you what happens to me? Hmm? The simplest way the better. That's not good. I am doomed. I still have one year to live no more. How do I know? I opened the secret drawer of Carmichael and read a letter not addressed to me. Uh, in this letter, Dr. Logan tells shit. my husband in the most direct way the truth That's he conceals from me. a great way to me. find out. Sir, so, I know. But my husband doesn't know I know. Please don't tell him. And if he shares the truth with you, act as you are surprised. Carr will probably speak in his usual convoluted way. But I wanted to be the first to announce it to you. Damn. It does matter to me that you are aware of what happens in Comside. Warm regards, Charlotte. Okay, I'm guessing this Sir one. Carmichael Clark, Comside, Churston, Devon. To Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury Road, Tsim Shasui, Kowloon, Hong Kong. Comside, 1935, January the 12th. Dear Franklin, First, I wish you a good start to a successful new year. I have received your letter dated December 10th. Thanks for defending my interest against Wang, this robber. Things could have got pretty bad if you weren't a real good-blooded guy. I envy you for that. Things go on here much as usual. Charlotte is moderately free from pain. I wish one could say more. You may remember Thora Gray. She is a dear girl and a greater comfort to me that I can tell you. I should not have known what to do through this bad time but for her. She has an exquisite taste and shares my passion for Chinese art. No daughter could be a closer or more sympathetic companion. 
Life has been difficult, but I am glad to feel that here she has a home and true affection. You wrote me you want to stay in China for one more year or even longer. I don't object. The longer oh, you stay, the, dude, the more stupid. opportunities you will have to increase our collection. You guys read what I said. I am, dear Franklin, your truly affectionate brother. Okay, we're done here. Let's go. Found the safe. We didn't steal the money. And inspect the mansion surroundings. Okay. Are we just leaving everything open in here? <laughs> Somebody's gonna come back home and just see every secret thing open. Just like you know, the safe is open. That's not. It's not. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. I mean, they didn't even close that secret door hatch or whatever. Where is the horrible smell of carrion coming from? Ram Pella. Revolting. Tut -tut. The gardener does not follow the alignment. There, that's better. It is symmetrical. <laughs> there, that's better. It is symmetrical. Ram Pella. Rip. Okay, what is I can for the dead rat? Okay. Can I go over this way? No. Hmm. This wisteria is in. This fountain makes a very relaxing. I would like to congratulate. Yes, yeah, a really nice garden. I'm not gonna lie. Here you go. Can't bear it over here. You see the timeline bonuses? I don't know what the timeline bonuses are. What is this? May you have peace, Carmichael. Charlotte. What is this? That looks really weird, but okay. Can I go somewhere else? Like, what's going on? Did I miss something? Well, I was able to come here, so I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, I guess not. Mansion surrounding, okay. Well, there's nothing here that I know of. Clark's greenhouse. It must hold some rare plants. Can I go to the greenhouse? Because it keeps making me forced to go over here. I want to go over this way. There's apparently nothing here. How did I teleport back? What? Okay, let's get in there. Just magically teleport it back, okay. Can't tell what the hell's going on. Oh, it changes views. Got this me. was tip. I didn't know it changed views. Well, I mean, this right over here looks kind of like a body or something, but I could be completely wrong. It was probably the gardener who lit this fire. Look here. I wonder if someone wanted to get rid of these papers. Oh, this subject would probably be useful to me. This is bad. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. I think we know what documents these are. 
Any personal belongings behind a Comstock? Uh, charming mental gifts. There we go. There's not one to be accused of theft. Gotcha. Everything that Thor Grey has left behind comes from Sir Carmichael's collection. He most probably gave them to her. But she chose to leave them here rather than run the risk of being accused of theft. It is understandable when you know just how much Lady Clark mistrusted her. Yeah. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh, boy, man. Is Thora a poisoner? Thora a rat poison. I think that's Thora tried to poison her. Uh, so I to work. Yeah, she doesn't need to. She already knows that she's gonna die. So. Thor Grey had no reason to kill someone who only had a few months left to live. <laughs> the poison she ordered was for rats. The gardener must have made good use of it considering the stinking remains on the pass, not far from the property. <laughs> I've finished here. I must put the skeleton key back and inform Hastings that I'm re- Gotcha. Let's go back. Poirot, run faster! I can't click faster. Run! You can do it! Let's go inside. There we go. I can cheat like that, that works. I just teleported inside, what do you mean? I just walked there. All right, let's go use the phone. I must put the skeleton key back and inform Ace Oh yeah, right, put the skeleton key back. Right, put the key back first. April 9th. Do I use the key with it, I guess? There we go. There we go. Okay, back and then we call Hastings. Hello, Hastings. I have finished in Shurston. I will take the first train. Tell me, do you... Yes, you just have to soak a cloth with a hydrochloric acid solution and rub the sheet of paper. Then the characters appear. Bien. You have been of great assistance, Hastings. Could you please order the solution as soon as possible? Of course, but what documents do you want to read? You will see, my friend. À ce soir. Oh, oh my god. I can't stop yawning and stretching. Donald? I don't know what I'm doing. Fraser is here. He insisted on waiting to see you. The investigation. Hungarian moustache. He looks kind of dim as fuck, dude. Holy shit. Is he drinking? This man is tired. Holy crap, look at that shade, though. He has the same clothes on last time he came by. And he's drinking. Donald is short of sleep. And it looks as if he didn't even bother to undress before going to bed. Talk to the man. Mr. Pato, I don't know why I'm here. You wanted to talk, and you came to find the only man capable of hearing you. Mr. Pato, since Betty's death, I've doubts about myself. I don't know what to do. And I keep having a horrible dream three nights in a row. Have a drink. And tell me about this dream. See, I'm a nice guy. It's always the same. I'm on the beach with Betty. I grab her around the throat and I squeeze and squeeze until she's dead. Her head falls back and I see that it's no longer Betty. It's Megan's face. Have you seen Megan Barnard recently? 
That's a fucked up thing. Yes, our grief has brought us together. I never really knew her before. She's really quite a remarkable girl. You never knew her before? Wait, what? But I would never tell her about my dream. Why you not? want to strangle her? Is it her you are attacking in your dream? No, it's Betty. And once Betty is dead, it's Megan's face that appears in its place. Very interesting. It's a really weird specific dream. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Mr. Fraser, I think that the real meaning of this dream is that you are in love with Megan Barnard. Please go on. Do. This dream certainly betrays your guilt. Oh. <laughs> what do you feel guilty about? <laughs> Having killed your fiancé? Oh my god. Possible. Or forgetting her very quickly for her sister? Certainly. And this forgetting is perceived as a second death. So you don't really think I was the one who killed Betty? I do not exclude this theory. I am simply saying that I do not need to know that fact to explain your dream and your guilt. Thank you for being frank, Mr. Poirot. You've helped me a great deal. I'm going back to Bexhill. I'll not take any more of your time up. It is late, Mr. Fraser, and you are tired. I'll sleep on the train. I like trains. It's easy to sleep rocked by the sound of the wheels. Poor boy, he seems completely lost. Well, women seem to like him. I think Megan will take care of him. Oh, I remember. Did you order the product I needed? Yes, we'll be receiving it tomorrow. Bien, it is late. And ask Miss Gray to come tomorrow morning. I have a few questions I wish to ask her. Mademoiselle, mm -hmm. I asked you here in order to answer a very important question. Very important, apparently. What? She did not see anybody on the day of the murder. Okay. Am I right in thinking you said that you did not speak to anyone on the day Sir Carmichael was murdered? It's the absolute truth. Yet, Lady Clark maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger on the front doorstep. Really? She must have been mistaken. Oh, I remember now. I'd forgotten all about it, but it wasn't important. It was just a salesman. One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. Can you describe him to me? Medium size. Mm, glasses. Dark suit and a felt hat. Not the sort of man you notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot <laughs> all about him. Harmless, okay. Nothing else? He was very hesitant and shy. Usually door-to-door -door salesmen are very confident. But he wasn't. You also forgot to tell me that you had been fired. You never asked me. It was Franklin who led you to believe that I left voluntarily. He's more chivalrous than you. I don't wish to lie. Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. And Franklin cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man. And he worries a great deal about his sister-in-law. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. It was too risky for you to keep these objects, am I correct? Risky? What was the risk? You know very well what Lady Clark might have said if you had kept these objects. Indeed. These objects were gifts. But Lady Clark would have been convinced that I'd stolen them. By returning them, I put an end to such evil gossip. 
Bien. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes or no. If Lady Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd ask you? How dare you ask such a question? Sir Carmichael treated me just like his daughter. And all that I ever felt him was affection and gratitude, nothing else. He said yes or no. What does Thank that... you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. She didn't say yes or no. She just tried to use some bullshit excuse. The fuck you on about? I met Thora Gray on the stairs. Her cheeks were ablaze and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Poirot, have you offended the poor girl again? Do you have good reasons Hastings, for accusing her? I accuse her of nothing, Hastings. I simply asked her an important question she did not answer. So Let us see if we can answer it for her. Mm -hmm. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. I was totally right. You must know how to read between the lines, Hastings. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he is lying to himself. Read this engraving on the brooch. A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Yeah, right. Lady Clark was not wrong. What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? That doesn't mean that she forced him to do so. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan. But she is calculating. Just look how she avoided it when asked if she would have married Clark. I see. You think she seduced Sir Carmichael for her own gain, and that now she is doing the same with his brother. Praro, your world is a very dark place. Do not get carried away, mon ami. We have another more important matter to settle. Really? Yes. Would you believe that Miss Grey taught me something new? Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Stockings. Hmm? It's perfectly clear, Hastings. Perfectly clear. Indeed, a stalking seller visited Andover, Bexhill, and Churston on the day of each murder. We have our suspect. This should be of interest, Jop. Thor's hammer. Hmm. Oh, I got a telephone him. Chief Inspector, we are looking for a stalking salesman. I see you have a suspect? Yes. Contact all the stocking wholesalers who may employ him. Your suspect is a salesman? No, he does not take orders. He sells door to door. Right. The hunt is on. What about the solution in the burning pa burned burnt papers? Fuck me. What's this dude? Are you leaving, Mr. Cust? Yes, I'm going to Cheltenham. You shouldn't travel today. You don't look very well. I have to. I... I have engagements. I must respect them. Hmm. Can you get the post, Hastings? And why don't you go and get it yourself? Post Hastings. Très bien. You're not gonna be What's a going dick, on? Hastings. I've never known Hastings to be so disagreeable. I know you're jealous that uh, the chick isn't yours, but goddamn, dude, calm down. Poor Mr. Poirot. I'm quite sorry for you. If at first you don't succeed, Try, try again. We've a long way to go still. Typerie? No, that comes later. Letter T. The next little incident.
will take place in Doncaster on September 11th. So long, ABC. I should compare this letter with the one on my desk which I received earlier to it's, see if it does indeed thing, come yes. from the same person. We really gotta do this again. We also got two letters. What's the other letter? <laughs> Sorry. Let us examine this. Yes, the eye. Certain characters in. Yes, the eye. Yes, eye. this eye. Yes, 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 yes. 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 The eye. Yes, 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 yes. I have to find. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have done this. Let time. us examine. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Yes, the yes, double. Yes, yes. Of course. Yes, the... yes, yes, yes. Of course. Of course. I have to find some yeah, other similar effects. Yes, I know. Far. Give me a second. Yes. Right here. Yeah. The... That's go. right. The A card. My theory was right. There we go. Finally. Hastings. Chief Inspector Jap. He's on another line. Can I take a message? Yes, please, Mademoiselle. It is from Hercule Poirot. Tell him ABC strikes tomorrow in Doncaster. He must call me back. Very well, sir. Bien, now I'm going to see what I can find from these burnt documents. I've received the product I need. Hastings, if you do not mind, I would like you to take a few notes. Yes, yes. He's kind of like acting like a dick right now. Calm down, my dude. Okay, but how do I use this? Stuff. Okay. If someone has tried to get rid of these documents, they may be important. Okay, how do I use the product though? Where's the product? Guys, where's the product? Where's, where's the product? Oh, here, okay. Is so doing it over here? Now! Down to work. One of these needs putting in order a little. Hey, puzzle game, okay. It's kind of like really hard to tell where exactly these go. Not gonna lie, this red piece of paper, okay. Nope. Here, nope. Here, nope. Uh, here. Uh, here. It's so simple. And then here. Here. This page is finished. That's done. Three more to go. Alright, let's give this a try. Uh, I'm thinking this looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, yeah, that works too. I mean, that's not the one I was does not look for. too difficult. I'll take it. I think that this. I won't complain, you know. This page is finished. And that's two done. Okay, um... Totally goes there. There we go. This page is child's... This page is child's play. Is it really, though? Whoa, is it... Really... What? Yeah, that's really how it's done. There. And this one goes right over here. This page is finished. Alright. Only one more. Last page. I hope that this doesn't last like another hour or two. I just realized how long I've been recording. It's gonna be a long freaking upload, but it is what it is. Uh, up here? No. Here. I think that this is right. Yes, you don't have to make comments every single thing I play. This page is finished. There we go. All, all the pages out. Okay, but you didn't put any tape or anything on them. How is. Uh, something is just. A hard. bottle of solvent. Yes, I. A dry cloth. A dry cloth. How am I supposed a to do A dry cloth. With that? A bottle of solvent. How am I supposed to do this? I'm so freaking lost. A dry cloth. I bring the papers to there? A dry cloth. 
<laughs> Wait, how do you? How do we do this? All the pages are recorded. Yes. What? What? How the fuck do I put this in? A bottle of solvent. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that part. Well, shut up. How the fuck do I use the solvent on the, the piece of fucking cloth? A dry cloth. Oh my goodness. A dry cloth. Yes, I know that it's a fucking dry cloth. A dry cloth. Shut the fuck up. A dry cloth. Oh my god, are you serious right now? How the fuck do I use this? A bottle of solvent. Yes, it's a bottle of solvent. Do I just click on it then? Click on it, click on it. Like, I can't do anything. A dry cloth. Oh, apparently it's like doing shit in the background. I didn't freaking see that, okay. A bottle of solvent. I don't think it's actually doing anything because it's not... Oh, I broke the bottle, I think. Is it actually doing something? A dry cloth. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. A dry, a dry, a dry, a dry cloth. Yes, I know it's a fucking a dry, dry cloth. cloth. Shut the fuck up. A dry up. cloth. Why is it not working? A dry cloth. Please shut the fuck up. A dry cloth. Please shut the fuck up. A dry Please cloth. Please shut the fuck up, Poirot. What am I supposed to be doing with this shit? If someone has tried yeah, to get yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm gonna Google this because it's not fucking doing anything. I don't know why the fuck it's not doing anything. Oh my god, are you serious? Dude? Murder, uh. Yeah, what am I supposed to fucking do here? Okay. Okay, but how do I use it on the freaking cloth? It won't go on the cloth. A bottle of solvent. Oh, fuck you, dude. Now you go onto the cloth, eh? The cloth oh, is now soaked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Paul. That is some bullshit right there. I totally put it on the cloth at least three times. I'm gonna murder you Got someone. it. Make it. Gonna murder someone. Literally. No murder. tastings. I got it. Look. Poro, where on earth did you find these files? On a fire at the bottom of the garden at Comside. All right, but where did the person who burned them find them? Show me what the files are first. What? Alice Asher. Shopkeeper in Hendover. Trachitis, hemoptysis, chronic cough with loss of blood, prescribed laudanum based cough medicine. Betty Barnard, waitress in Bexhill. Chronic bronchitis causing dysphonia. Advised to stop smoking. Oh, shit. Alexander Bonaparte cast. While wounded, mustard gas and head trauma. Pulmonary emphysema. Hemoptysis. Coffin fits with blood. Suffers from oh, absences and amnesia. That's why. Dick Dudley Dunbar, owner of the Black Swan Hotel in Doncaster. Asthmatic, heart disease, heart condition. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Burned documents are medical records and without a doubt they come from Clark's archives. First of all, because all the patients have thought conditions. We also have and secondly, the their name starts with either A, B, C or D. And it is precisely the files that match these letters the that have been tampered with. We also have the DNA. But why burn these files? How come the names of the two victims appear on them? And who are the two other patients? These are very good questions. One of them is being possibly either he's the killer or he's being framed by the killer. And then one of them is, yeah, because there's no way he got access to those files. Hello, Poirot. Any news, Chief Inspector? 
You, still in the you wanted a stocking seller? We have one. Reported by his landlady who thought he was behaving suspiciously. He has the most unbelievable name. Yeah, ABC. Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Yes, Alexander Bonaparte Cust. How did you guess? Poro, you have magical powers. It's a serious lead. I called Doncaster. A person matching Cust's description has been seen at the station. He got off the train from London, but after that, nobody knows where he went. Uh... Look for him at the Black Swan Hotel. What? How do you know he's there? Trust me, Chief Inspector. You appear to be very sure of yourself. Very well. I'll call the Black Swan straight away. The owner is going to get he's a shot the when murderer. he learns that he there's a murderer under the his house. roof. Chief Inspector, I would rather call myself. As you wish. Please go ahead. Hello, the Black Swan. Hercule Poirot here. May I speak to the owner? Speaking. Dick Dudley Dunbar. How can I help you? Is there Mr. Cast among your guests? He arrived today. Shall I call him for you? No, it is you I wish to speak with. But who is this Cust? Have you heard about the ABC case? Oh, yes. I must say, I'm not all that reassured. What with my name starting with D and all that? You're in danger. Beware of your guest. Do you think that Cust might be dangerous? Oh, I do hope you're wrong. He seems so harmless, you know. Oh, yes, completely harmless. We must not overestimate the danger. After all, we are not absolutely sure he is guilty. What should I do? Watch him. If he leaves the hotel, watch where he is heading. I'll call the police in Doncaster immediately. When they arrive, keep out of the way. Oh, indeed. I shall keep out of the way. I have a bad heart, you see, and a big shot could kill me. Thank you for having warned me. Hello, Poirot. We have some good news. The police in Doncaster have caught our man at the Black Swan Hotel. Something's They're sending wrong. him here by train. While we're waiting Something's to question wrong. Cust, we could search his room in London. Where does he live? The Marbury Guest House. I'll see you there. Yes, but start without me. First of all, I have to sort out a few details for Cust transfer. I understand. A bientôt. Hastings, we are making good progress. Please go and search the room of our number one suspect. With pleasure. I did have a dentist appointment, but I'll cancel. The dentist. So that is why you are <laughs> so nervous. Wait, that's why you was nervous and bad tempered. A visit to the dentist is never an enjoyable prospect, but an unavoidable one. Go to your appointment, Hastings. Of the girl. I will manage my own. Okay, damn. He doesn't want to go to his appointment, though. You could have at least helped him out there. To Marbury Guest House, please. Marbury Guest House. Yeah, I know. I still think that dude is in danger. I have a bad feeling about this. There's no way he would have gotten access to the, the records without anybody knowing. There's already always somebody in the house. It doesn't make any sense. How do you do? You must be Mr. Hercule Praro. Chief Inspector Chubb told me that you might be coming. Madame, you may be of valuable help to me. It would be my pleasure to help you. Will there be some journalists there as well? I think you might even be interviewed. You are a key witness. I've suspected him for some time, but he appeared so harmless. Oh yes, sometimes he got angry and waved his arms about. But even then, he wasn't frightening. And he was as gentle as a lamb again immediately afterwards. It was only this morning that I understood. 
He told me he was going to Cheltenham, but my daughter saw him at Euston Station. It's not the right station. To get to Cheltenham, you have to take the train from Paddington. And what's more, Mr. Cuss left behind an ABC with Doncaster underlined. As you can imagine, when I saw that, I called Scotland Yard. One moment, please. How did you know that Cust had underlined Doncaster in his railway guide? I... I went and had a look in his room. I see. Do you make a habit of searching through your lodger's belongings? Well, what are you going to do later? I bet you're going to poke around his room too. Uh, tell me, did you have any other reason to suspect Mr. Cust? He's rather queer. He talks to himself. He has a bad cough. Because of the war, he says. And then he was in Churston when that millionaire got murdered. I found his train ticket when I washed his coat. He didn't want me to wash his shirt. He washed it himself. But I did see big brown stains on it. Where were the stains on the shirt? Can't recall. Cut used to travel for his work. Is that correct? Yes. Although he was unwell on trains. Do you know where Cust was at the time of the murder in Andover and Bexhill? On June the 21st and July the 25th? No idea. But surely you keep a register. It won't do you much good. Mr. Cust rents his room for the year. If he goes away for a few days, I have no reason to make a note of it. Ah! I remember one thing. Bexhill's by the sea, right? Indeed. It is a large seaside resort. Well, as it happens, at the start of July, Mr. Cast asked me to repair his bathing dress. Suspicious, huh? Very interesting. Please continue. I also forgot to say that he started buying newspapers that talked about the case. When did he start buying the newspapers? Let's see. I think it was just after the millionaire's murder in Churston. He didn't seem all that interested before that. That would be all for now. I'm going to take a look at his room. Take like the key on the counter. He might have done it, but he's not sure because of the amnesia or something. Take the key on the count counter. I'll take the key, thank you. I should check the register. Mrs. Marbury may have been hiding something from me. Is that a good idea? I don't think my register will help you. Mr. C the truth is becoming apparent, and I have something to say to Mrs. Marbury. This woman appears to be in bad mood. <laughs> is it because we talked to her? Mrs. Marbury is taking out her bad mood on the evening meal's potato. It looks like a burnt potato. Mrs. Marbury, if I am to believe the register, you rented room 306 to a certain Mr. Fishman on the day of the Bexhill murder? Room 306 is Cust's room. Can you explain yourself? If I did, it was because Mr. Cust wasn't here. What about it? It doesn't matter, provided that you remember to change the sheets. Of course I changed them. I keep a nice clean establishment, I'll have you know. This is Mr. Fishburne. John Milligan, Managing Director, Silky Legs, Frederick Street, Leicester. To A.B. Cust, Marbury's Guest House, 1935, May the 21st. Dear Sir, Further to our letters dated 5th and 10th of the month, we confirm we are you as door-to-door -door salesman, according to the conditions stated in our previous letters. 
We will send you the articles by mail and also a red field typewriter you will be using for every business letter. Regarding the schedule of your rounds, please do as following. June 21, Andover. Arrive by train the 20th in the evening and get a room at Station Hotel. Start your turn in the north part of the town. This letter establishes that Cust went to Andover, but the ink has hidden the destinations of his other trips. <sighs> I know from Mrs. Marbury that he went to Churston. I just have to show that he went to Bexhill and I will have proved that he was present at all the crime scenes. So smoking guy is a killer, right? It's an ABC. A long blade and knife. A murderous weapon. This subject will probably be useful to me. Did Cust drop it when he opened the window? Or was it Mrs. Marble? Cust is parsimonious. He keeps his pencils and sharpens them until... I have to get the ribbon. Something is blocking the ribbon. The right hand heel has been removed. The left hand heel has been removed. And here is the ribbon. Let us see if it was indeed used to write the letters sent by ABC. Yeah, but who's given this typewriter though? I only it? need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. I will let Jack clean the keyboard if he wishes. How do I get the ribbon off though? And here is the ribbon. I only need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. I would. I have the pen. This. <laughs> All the letters announcing the murders. How hopeful. This place is a real mess. The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. War of 1914-1918. An army dispatch, wounded on the Somme front, victim of a gas attack, cop. Does he just have a bunch of ABC guys? ABC guys, enough to sign about a dozen murders. Maybe it's maybe? closed. <laughs> it's closed, okay. ABC guy. Wait, so then what am I supposed to look at? It's closed. Yes, it's closed. Look at these ones. What do you want me to do here? This knife is very useful. Okay, there we go. Stockings. Stocking. Okay, I think I've gotten everything. Okay, now there's this thing right over here. All the main articles referring to the ABC case are here. From the Churston murder onwards, nothing before that date. Most probably the basting dress repaired by Mrs. Marbury's expert hands. The Bexhill Daily paper, dated from the day of the Bexhill murder. Trousers, white shirts, everything has been washed very well. I think they were 
more down here. Don't oh, remind me of something back here. Laudanum Camerons Chemists. Laudanum, a medicine for coughs. It is what Dr. Clark prescribed for Mrs. Asher. This subject will probably be useful to me. I guess it's what for... Oh, sedative for the... Diethyl barbituric acid, Johnson Company. I know this medicine. It is a powerful sedative. This subject will probably be useful to me. Oops. I was clustering the back cylinder. Well, he has a little... The register shows that Cust did not sleep at the guest house on the day of the murder. Where was he? Bexhill. The Bexhill paper reveals it. Cust bought this newspaper in Bexhill on July the 25th. He was told to go to there with the letter from the stockings, though, is he not? It is not the right time. I don't know how to look at everything. Am I missing? The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. Okay, so that's that thing. This is just me looking in the goddamn mirror. What am I missing? What am I missing? I looked at everything, I think. I didn't see anything else that I might have missed. Already. The least we can say that Mr. Yeah, Cust yeah, is not very already. concerned about order and balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Can we go now? It is not the right. Why is it not the right time? What am I missing? Like bloody wine or something? Like, come on. Already got all this. Already got all this. There's something I'm like missing or something? I already saw that too. Is there like a question I need to answer? Like what is going on guys? Did you use this or something there? Have to put this back. Maybe I have to put this back. I finished with this. Leave the knife there, okay. The least we can say that yeah, Mr. Cust is not very concerned it, about order it, and balance. This game is kind of fucking annoying when it comes to this shit because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I supposed to put this here? I'm supposed to get rid of this? Put this back over here somewhere? I'm supposed to get the key back? Like, what, what do you guys want me to do here? Genuinely, I have no idea what you want me to do here. It is not the right. Why is it not the right time? I have looked at everything here. The least we can say yeah, that yeah, Mr. Cust yeah, yeah. is not oh, very concerned about fuck. order and balance. Are you fucking serious right now? What else is there to look at? I have looked at everything. Can't look at that. Well, this uh, again. No. An army dispatch. Wounded on the some front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it not time to go? I have looked at everything here. I can't go over here. There's nothing there. It is What do you mean it's not the right time? Are you fucking retarded or something? Um oh my god, I swear.
What? Do I have to fucking look what? up on Google what the fuck I have to do Anomi right now? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Oh my god, are you serious right now? This fucking thing on the ground, are you serious? This man? dark stain. It could. Yeah, shut up. Let's no. just go. Let's go. Oh my god. Goodbye, Mrs. Marbury. Thank you for. I look for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you. Get out of my way. Ah, Chief Inspector. I was about to leave. Good evening, Chief Inspector. Welcome. Please excuse me, I must go to the kitchen. I'll leave the key of Mr. Cust on the counter. Why is she having I'm black? sorry, I'm late. I've spent Potatoes. ages with the Doncaster police. And you? <sighs> I have established one fact. On three occasions, Cust was at the scene on the day of the crimes. Were we not just talking to him right there? Yes, talk to him. Oh, it's doing this thing again, or it's not working properly. Now you gotta do this again. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. There we go. That's well, because I have the menu. I've listened page. closely to what you have to say, Poro. For me, there's no doubt. Cuss. That is what we're going. Let us now try and get do, 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 do. Kill the three victims. Yes, it's very possible. Yeah, actually murder, because it's on Bexel. Pictures in the day. The evidence against Cust is overwhelming. His presence at the scenes, the knife, the bloodstained shirt, the ABCs in a box. C'est vrai. However, the blood Mrs. Marbury saw on Cust's shirt may have been his own. According to his medical records, he suffers from hemoptysis. The murderer cuts a Carmichael's throat from behind and the blood spurted outwards. You would expect the murderer's shirt to be stained on the sleeves, not on the buttonholes. Yet we see quite the opposite. You would expect the murderer to keep the newspaper articles about his crimes. But Cust's collection starts in Cheston, as if it discovered the case rather late. Hmm, I agree it's troubling, but it doesn't change my mind. There's small details that we should be able to clear up by questioning Cust. When can you talk to him? Doncaster is sending him to us on the first train. Are they questioning him already? He says he can't remember a thing. It's plausible. Dr. Say suffers from absences and amnesia. Mrs. Marbury has confirmed this. He may have done the murders in an altered state. A familiar situation. It's not enough to clear his name. Dr. Thompson insisted that even if you don't know what you're doing, you never commit a murder without wanting to. Très intéressant. I shall remember that. Right. I'll go and examine the suspect's room. Chief Inspector, I took the liberty of removing a few clues to examine at home. All right, we'll discuss them tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to see if you've missed something. Oh my god, it's already late. Why did it get so late? Go to Scotland Yard. To Scotland Yard, please. There's a cat up there. Why is there a cat that high up on the windowsill? It's ex 
examine this guy. This man is not in good shape. He is worried and very tired. And other police have been hard on him. What do you want from me? Are you Alexander Bonaparte Kust? So? You find my name ridiculous, is that it? Huh? I am Hercule Poirot, and I want nothing other than the truth. Ah, you're the detective. Yes, I am the person you have been sending the letters to. I didn't write these letters. I've already said so. Très bien. You did not hide these letters. But the question remains, who did? Probably one of my enemies. I have many. I do not believe that you are capable of murder, Mr. Cust. I... I hope not. You suffered during the war. It's true. I was wounded. I suffered. But... The army was the only place I didn't feel inferior. No questions. Just orders to follow. But ever since you were wounded, you have absences, bouts of amnesia. And headaches. <sighs> kind of bad Professor day. Clark treated you. Yes, a few years ago he really helped me with my burned throat. Of course, you never considered killing a doctor who took such good care of you. No, no, never. You were seen at all the crime scenes. Yes, I was. I travel a lot. But not for pleasure. I am terribly unwell in trains. But I had to respect my engagements. My employer gave me very precise written instructions about the towns I had to visit. <coughs> Let's see. The company you claim to work for, Silky Legs, has never heard of you. And as for these letters they sent you, they were written on your own typewriter. The company sent me the typewriter when I started working for them. Yes, but the letters were received afterwards. So it would appear that you typed them before sending them to yourself. I... I don't remember. Good God! I don't know what's happening to me. My head hurts terribly. I'm still saying there's no way he could have gotten the files. And why would he burn his own file? That makes no sense. Oh, do I just keep questioning him, I guess? He is in no state to reply. He is prey to... I am not going to leave before having finished questioning him. If he's not gonna fucking... Oh, no. Take this. It will help you. Oh. Let us see, Cust. Look at me. You know very well that you committed these murders? Yes, I know. But I'm not wrong in saying that you do not know why you committed them. No, I don't. So he committed them, but he doesn't know why? Uh -huh. Let us leave Cust alone. Is that... What a job. And? What conclusions have you drawn? Plenty. 
It might help us to un Let us now try and get Who's that guilty? I don't see any clearer than before. This is worse. There is one point, Twilight. C'est curieux. Cust admits that he killed, but he does not know why. What did Dr. Thompson say? Even if Cust killed while in an altered state, it still must have been his deepest desire. He must have had a motive. Let's keep it simple. Never mind his motive. He confessed. But you see, he can confess to anything and everything. He denied the murders and then he confessed to them. He confirmed that he never typed the letters, then with great ease, I managed to get him to say quite the opposite. Come on, he behaved like a guilty man. He lied to his landlady. Because deep down he believes himself guilty. From the papers he noticed that he had always been at the scene of the crimes. He must think that he killed and then simply forgot what he had done. How can you be so sure? Let us look at his psychological profile. You will understand my point of view. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. You see? Cus' character is quite the opposite of the murderers. But if he's a madman, can we really talk about his character? You know very well that our murderer does not behave like a psychopath. Apart from the signature, there is no ritual repetition in the choice of victims. Very well, very well. You're right, as always. So, we have no confession, no culprit, no suspects, nothing. And all that after two months of inquiry? What should I do? Have faith. Just give me 24 hours. Give him 24 hours to find a killer, okay. What about my dude Donald? Isn't he gonna die or something? Wait, where are we going? Go home, where's home? Get a cab. To White Heaven, please. Cust's arrest is a great success for you, Pyro. 
It's all clear now, except maybe one or two details. Details. Ah, mon ami. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish here for today. I've already been doing this for two hours, so that'll be a nice little bit, and uh, I'll, I'll completely find who the actual murderer is in the next episode. Ciao.